Hello and welcome to this uh, new quick video about uh, Wombat Direct configuration. After the installation, we need to complete the mandatory step, uh, edit basic settings just once. Later, you can create as many campaigns as you want, but after the installation, we need to configure these three steps in Wombat Direct. Asterisk server, trunks and endpoints. The Asterisk server is the Asterisk manager interface connection between Wombat Direct and Asterisk. You can create and connect as many Asterisk server as you want. Uh, the form will require you the server IP address for the PBX, the port, this is by default, the username and password. And uh, in order to check the connection, you can click on start. If you have uh, the green status, this means that Wombat is able to um, send events or retrieve information from the asterisk server. The second step uh, under basic settings is complete the configuration about the trunks. A trunk is the way through which the call will be dialed in the network and the most important field here is the dial string. You need to complete here the same dial string asterisk should dial uh, on the interface. In this example, my interface is a GSM gateway, so I just complete the prefix zip slash the number of the gateway, the same name created on the asterisk PBX and, the name, and then slash number that is the variable taken by the list. Another example, the daddy channel where we can select the group and maybe add a prefix into the number before, before being dialed into the interface. And finally, we can also use the local extension. In the local extension, Wombat will place the number, the destination, and the execute it in the specific custom context, maybe a context developed by you where you need to define uh, which trunk to use based on the format uh, or maybe access to the database or maybe start a recording. The local is very useful when you need to uh, do something before make the dial into the network. And the last step is configure the endpoints. An endpoint is the terminal connected to the call when the call is answered. We have two types of endpoints. The first one is phone, the second is queue. With a phone endpoint, we can create automatic outbound campaign uh, in order to play back a pre-recorded message or maybe uh, apply text-to-speech feature and that this campaign will be automatically uh, and manage, com managed completely by Wombat Dialer. The other type, the second type of uh, terminal is uh, endpoint uh, queue. With the endpoint queue, we can create a connection between uh, the call and the queue where we have different agent logged in and uh, we can create a preview campaign or a predictive campaign. For the phone, we need uh, just to complete the first part of the param parameters. Uh, just complete uh, the name for the endpoints, select the extension and the context that will, that, that will be executed on the call when the call is answered. If you select uh, the queue endpoint type, uh, uh, we need to complete the second part of parameters. The first one is the extension and context executed when the call is answered. And the second queue parameters is referring to the queue name. You need to put here the exact code, the same code for the queue um, that uh, should be monitored. Wombat Dare will be monitor this uh, queue 2001 in this case in order to check if there are agents available. This is very important because Wombat will start to dial when we have agent available in the queue and then stop to dial when many agents start to pause, on pause or logged off by the queue. So this parameter is very important. Then we have uh, another two um, interesting uh, and very useful parameters. The first one is the boost factor, that is the relationship between the number of available agents in the queue and the number of call plays 
into the network. Maybe you need to apply a boost factor uh, 1.5 or 2. So if you have 10 agents, Wombat will place 15 calls into the network or 20 calls into the network in order to try to make busy as many agents as possible. If you prefer to call firstly the agent and then start the dialing to the network, you need to select reverse dialing. And if you need uh, the agent um, uh, open or check information about the customer before the call is placed on the network, you can select manual preview. With the manual preview, the agent will be uh, will have an option to open a Wombat page where the agent can see information about attributes or variable connected to the call and then the agent can click to call in order to execute the originate. Of course, the reverse dialing and manual preview will take more time on the agent side. That's all for, for this uh, session about basic settings. In the next video, we are ready to create our first campaign after uploading our first list, of course. So thank you for watching and thank you for interest on Wombat Dialer.